Hey you guys, uh, welcome to your compatibility reading between the signs of Sagittarius and Virgo. So this is uh, Virgo dealing with the Sagittarius or Sagittarius dealing with the Virgo. Uh, we're going to take a look to see if you guys are both compatible. We're going to do a you versus them. We're going to put Sagittarius on my left side and then Virgo on my right side. We're going to take a look at your over energies, how you guys are feeling about each other, how you guys view each other, that sort of thing, long-term intentions. And then we'll finish off the read with a possible outcome and advice. So, you know, Virgo and Sagittarians, per the astrology textbooks, you know, this is not a really good match. You know, I feel like, you know, this pair is maybe good for a friendship, you know? You guys might have, you know, really good conversations and stuff like that. But in terms of, you know, this being romantic, it's like super, super, super tough because like Virgo's like looking for stability. And then Sagittarius is looking for, uh, you know, fun, to have fun, to be free, you know, to be a free spirit, okay? So Sagittarians are really hard to pin down when it comes to that. Uh, but you have to also, you know, kind of factor in other things here too. Um, each of your guys' uh, zodiac chart, the rest of your guys' chart, you know, the moon, the rising, Mercury, Venus, you know, the, each of your upbringings, traumas, um, karma, past life stuff, etc. Okay, so uh, yeah, it really depends. Okay, so we're going to focus this on the sun sign, but you can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, um, I did say sun already. Um, so uh, keep in mind, these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Okay, um, if you guys haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, share, comment, uh, comment uh, if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind, these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarians and Virgos that are dealing with each other, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular, tapping into the collective Sagittarius and Virgos, okay? So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, uh, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me, all right? So let's get started. We're going to have a little pendulum action here. We're going to see if you guys are compatible, okay? So tell me about Sagittarius and Virgo. Tell me about Sagittarius and Virgo. Are Sagittarians and Virgos compatible? Are Sagittarians and Virgos compatible? Are Sagittarians? Yeah, that's a huge. That's a that's a hard no. Yeah, when it goes but rocks back and forth like that, that's a hard no. Okay, so um, all right, so let's get into the tarot. Um, so let's see. Messages for uh, Sagittarius that are dealing with a Virgo. Virgos that are dealing with the Sagittarius. Are Sagittarius and Virgos compatible? Are Sagittarius and Virgos compatible? All right, let's see. Let's take a look here, you guys. All right, we have the Eight of Cups. The thing is, the thing with this connection, I feel like the issue is that both of you guys are sort of like an empty shell. Maybe one person's an empty shell, the other, yeah, or both of you guys, but it, there's no deep emotional connection here for somebody, though. Yeah, I feel. Like, I feel like someone here is not really deeply invested. We have the star card. Aquarius energy. We have the nine of cups. The thing is, I feel like for one person, one person makes, one person sees someone as their wish fulfillment and makes them very, very, very happy. But in terms of maybe another person, the other person doesn't view it that way though. We have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this is, this is Sagittarius right here with the Page of Wands. This is an energy that wants to have fun all the time. This is an energy that is the life of the party, very social, you know, likes to go out, you know, meet people, you know, talk to people. And Virgo is the complete opposite of that. Yeah. Um, not that Virgos can't be social. Some Virgos can't. It really, like I said, it really depends on each of your guys' charts, but each Virgo is different. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Look at Sagittarius' energy showing up here. This is an energy that loves to be a free bird. Uh, I feel like when it comes to commitment, when it comes to be, uh, uh, when it comes to stability, I feel like it's too much effort mm -hmm. for Sagittarius. 
Like for Sagittarius, I feel like it has to naturally come to them instead of it being forced on them. And you know, Virgos could be highly critical depending on the Virgo. Uh, so, you know, and, and Sagittarius might not be okay with that because, you know, Sagittarians, you know, they kind of like to do what they want and they like to have fun. They don't like, like to be judged for it. Not that Sagittarius really cares about what other people think about them, but you know, it's, it's sort of like, it, it's, it's kind of like, it's a really hard match. Yeah. Because some Virgos could be very highly critical, has very high standards, which is okay, you know? Um, but it just seems like this is a complete, this is like just complete polar opposites. Yeah. Tell me about this eight of cups. Wow. We have the devil here. Capricorn energy. I feel like this could, this is a pretty toxic situation. Like, I feel like someone here is really emotional and very sensitive. And I feel like someone here is not really uh, being, you know, conscious or aware of someone's sensitivity. Okay. Tell me about the star card, the devil card, Cap uh, Capricorn energy. There could be some codependency here too. It's like, you know, sometimes, you know, when, when, when someone is not doing something that we want them to do it sort of becomes an addiction trying to figure out a way to like get someone to choose you or get someone to do this that sort of thing yeah so yeah there's some sort of codependency tell me about the, uh, the star card you got a six of pentacles here it seems like there's a lack of equal give and take you know, Virgo is an earth energy. So Virgo is an energy that thinks very long term and Sagittarians think short term but, you know, this is very general. Like I said, it really depends on other factors here. And every Sagittarius is different. You know, maybe, you know, some Sagittarians might have a lot of earth energy and they're really grounded individuals. You know, it really depends. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? You know, the Four of Wands. This connection really makes someone very, very, very happy. And I feel like it's more so Virgo in particular. I feel like it does make Sagittarius very happy, but I feel like when it comes to your vision about how the relationship should be or how it's going to be, you guys don't have the same vision. Yeah, because like Sagittarius just wants to go on adventures. Sagittarius just want to travel around the world and just like talk to everyone and meet people, you know? Uh, Page of Wands here. Might not be okay with Virgo because, you know, Sagittarians, you know, depend on the Sagittarius, they tend to be very flirty, okay? And it's part of the, it's part of their, uh, you know, characteristic, uh, you know, because they're, they're just very social people. They're, they're, they love absorbing knowledge, yeah? Uh, we have the Fool card here, Aries Energy. Knight of Wands, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, Eight of Pentacles, and the, and the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's a huge stark difference here because I'm feeling like one energy, someone here just wants to have a good, good time, someone here just wants to have fun, someone here doesn't want to worry about too much stuff. And then we have Virgo, who's the nervous Nelly, who's worrying about the future, uh, uh, you know, long-term stuff, you know, work stuff, you know, trying to save money for things, you know, you know, I'm feeling like Virgo works really hard. And I feel like, you know, Sagittarius is like, I want to go travel. And Virgo is just like, I want to stay home, you know. Uh, so it's just complete. Yeah, it just seems like you guys don't have matching uh, core values or something like that. Yeah, it just don't. You guys are not really aligned with each other. This is a really difficult connection. And keep in mind, not that this connection can't work. It absolutely can work. You know, I, you know, I, I you know. I have friends that, you know, are together and they're just complete, you know, like, for example, I have a friend, um, she, I grew up with, uh, she's a Capricorn and her husband's a Gemini and those are complete polar opposites, but somehow they work, you know, I think the most important thing is really about communication and really being, uh, you know, empathetic and, and, uh, towards, um, other people's, um, feelings and stuff like that, uh, uh you know, so, yeah, this is, I don't, yeah, I just don't think this is going to really work out really well. Yeah, I feel like this is more so better as, like, friends, yeah. All right, Sagittarius on my left side. What do we have here for Sagittarius? I think, I think the most important thing when it comes to, you know, this hard, difficult um, connection is that communication is really important here. And just being able to put yourself in into each other's shoes 
okay? And not being too judgy here. You know, if there's a lot of judgment, maybe a lot of you guys are passing a lot of judgment about each other here too because you guys are so different, yeah? So tell me about Sagittarius. Over energies for Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius view Virgo? How does Sagittarius view Virgo? What are Sagittarius' current feelings and long-term intentions towards Virgo? Keep in mind, you could switch if you want. Maybe Virgo, you might resonate more on my left side, and Sagittarius, you might resonate resonate more on my right, okay? But I'm putting you on my left, okay? Sag? Wow. Well, Sagittarius really loves Virgo. Yeah, this is a deep, intense connection here, okay? A deep soul tie, a, a strong bond. The thing is, like, you know, I, I feel like there's just a lot of challenges here between you guys. Uh, we have uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is a very, this could be a very peaceful connection here too. You know, Sagittarius, you know, I feel like Sagittarius does, just doesn't want the drama here. And, you know, Virgo could be very nitpicky and, you know, Sagittarius might not like that. Okay, what else do we have here? We have the Five of Wands, okay? We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy. You know, I feel like Sagittarius might be highly intuitive here. And I feel like Sagittarius is sensing that, you know, Virgo is not okay with a lot of things that Sagittarius does. But Virgo is not speaking it or saying it outright. And keep in mind, Sagittarius is a very direct and forward energy when it comes to, like, speaking up. Um... But yeah, someone here is not saying anything. Someone here, like, I feel like Sagittarius has to keep their mouth shut because like, you know, they, they, they're worried that they might get criticized or like they worry uh, a fight might break out or something like that. Uh, Cancer Pisces energy with the High Priestess. And then we have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I feel like Sagittarius is really confused by Virgo. The communication's not so great. I see. I, f I feel like Sagittarius feels like there's like blocks in communication with Virgo, or that you guys are not understanding each other here. You know, with the Page of Cups, you know, there could be an indication that someone here has experienced childhood trauma, emotional trauma here. So I feel like when it comes to emotion, someone here has a difficult time with that. Okay. Mm, let's see. Tell me about this uh, Gemini. Gemini. No, tell me about this lovers. Why is this lovers here? Why is this lovers here? I do feel like Sagittarius does want things to work out with Virgo. Yeah. Uh, we have the Page of Swords. Hold on. Let me just check something here really quickly. Okay. Tell me about the um, Temperance card with a Seven of Cups. I just feel like the communication is not so good between you guys. Yeah, we have that page of swords here. Like, I feel like someone here might be communicating more than the other person. Someone here might be more transparent than the other, or that both of you guys are just not. Yeah, both of you guys are scared to communicate straightforward or direct because maybe they're... Because I'm getting, like, harsh criticism here by somebody, okay? Um, keep in mind, you know, a lot of times, you know... If you're trying to control someone, make someone do something that they're, they're not ready to do or make someone change when they're not ready, um, that's really unfair to that person. So if you guys are doing that, you know, just keep that in mind. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. What if someone here, what if someone made you so, do something that you're not ready to do yet and you did do it and it starts to gnaw at you? You know, it's, it's not really fair. Um, so, you know, change happens when the person's ready for it, not forced, okay? Uh, because that's, that, that defies the whole uh, natural laws of physics. When you force something, that's not supposed to be forced. Well, you know, it's different if you're like using force to open the door. That's a whole different thing. But if you're trying to manipulate energy in that way, uh-uh, no. Um, the um, five of wands. All right, we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the High Priestess. We have the Hierophant. This is a very deep spiritual connection. I feel like you, both of you guys could learn so much from each other. Because like I said, you know, it could be a situation that you could guy, you guys could take a splash 
from each other, a little dose of each other here because, you know, because you guys are such complete polar opposites. And, you know, in certain instances, yeah, opposites do attract, but this is a very challenging connection. I, I think the only commonality that you guys have is that you guys are both mutable energies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me about the Two of Swords with the Ace of Cups. Yeah. You see, um, you know, I feel like Sagittarius really loves Virgo. Yeah, and I feel like maybe Virgo does not know that. Maybe like Sagittarius keeps that to themselves or that Sagittarius could view Virgo as keeping that to themselves or something like that. Tell me about the Eight of um, eight of Wands here. We have Two of Cups. Wow. I mean, this definitely could be more than friends for sure. I, I just feel like the communication could use a bit of a tune-up, okay? Yeah, we have the Emperor here, Aries Energy. You know, maybe like Sagittarius could view Virgo as someone who's very, like, just very serious. And, you know, and maybe, you know, Sagittarius want Virgo to, like, let down their hair and have more fun or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It just it seems like, you know, maybe Sagittarius view, views Virgo as, you know, putting the weight of the world on their shoulders or something like that. It's like sort of like worrying things that, you know, that they shouldn't be worrying about. You know, it's that, that sort of thing. Okay. So let's take a look at Virgo. On my right side, like I said, you guys could place yourself where you see fit. You know, maybe, you know, you guys, you know, Virgo might fit more on this side. Like I said, whatever, put, put, place yourself wherever you see fit, however it resonates with you. Tell me about Virgo. Um, Virgo's overall energies. How does Virgo view Sagittarius? Virgo's long-term intentions towards Sagittarius, feelings towards Sagittarius. But I feel like Sagittarius wants to go very far with Virgo in terms of like moving towards higher levels of commitment. When it comes to Sagittarius, you know, Sag Sagittarius does take a longer time to commit uh, because they, they, they love their freedom so much. And, you know, that's, um, that's a great thing. Uh, but I feel like, you know, if, you know, I, I think in this instance, I feel like that some of these conversations that you guys are having, it's worth it's worth having them over and over and over again. You know, just to sort of like you know reassure the other person because you know, uh, you know, I feel like you know, so you know, I feel like you guys get maybe lost in translation because you guys are so different. Yeah, I think it's okay to have the conversation over and over and over again. Okay, especially, you know, it, 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 and it's really important to re really make it productive in a way you guys are learning something from each other and understanding each other, putting each other in, uh, putting yourself into each other's shoes. Okay, um, all right, let's pull, let's pull cards here. Alrighty, alrighty. All right, tell me about Virgo, over energies for Virgo. How does Virgo view Sagittarius? How does Virgo feel about Sagittarius? Long-term intentions for Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles. You know, yeah, Virgo feels very alone. Yeah, Virgo feels very abandoned. You know, I, I feel, I, you know, it could be a, it, maybe there is codependency here because I'm, I'm getting an instance where, you know, sometimes Sagittarius just wants to go out and do things by themselves or something like that. You know, hang out with their own friends without having their partner there with them. And I feel like Virgo is not okay with that. You know, sometimes, you know, it's important, you know, when you guys are in relationships is to have your own time away from each other and have your own identity away from the relationship to be able to do your own things away from the relationship. So I, I'm feeling like there's an energy of needing to be glued to the hip at all times. Okay. Um, you know, I do feel like someone here is feeling insecure here. You know, Virgo might be feeling insecure or that Virgo, you might uh, be viewing Sagittarius as someone who's insecure because they're so social or, you know, they talk to so many people or something like that. But I keep getting that, you know, you guys, things get lost in translation because I feel like you guys you don't understand each other. Um, we're the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, there you are right here. We have the uh, uh, Hangman, Piscean Energy. We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. There you are right there again. Oh, shoot. We have the Three of Pentacles here. Look how focused you are on your Pentacles. Look how hardworking you are. That's so Virgo. That's so amazing.
keep in mind there are positives and negatives to each zodiac sign. So, and I feel like each zodiac sign definitely is really great, has their positives and their negatives, okay? Uh, there's no one zodiac sign that's better than the other. I truly don't believe that. Um, you know, I do feel like everyone's great. Yeah, everyone has their good sides. Everyone has their bad sides, okay? And a seven of pentacles, wow. I don't know, sometimes maybe Virgo views Sagittarius as, as a fi financial liability or something like that because, you know, Virgo might be viewing uh, Sagittarius as someone that's not really responsible with their money. And it could be a situation that Virgo has shelled out money to help Sagittarius through fi like a financial crisis or something like that. Because Virgo re works, is working really hard for, for their money here. You know, there's a lot of, you know, sort of like, you know, there's an energy of taking a step back or something like that, or, you know, you know, Virgo could view Sagittarius about maybe not taking initiative to, you know, really build something long lasting. But like I said, you can't force it, you know, so that hangman could be a representation for Virgo is to surrender control and just allow things to be and just enjoy each other's company and have a good time. You know, and not to worry too much or think too much about the future and just sort of like allow things to naturally unfold and develop and develop. OK, you know, because, you know, every Virgo is different, but, you know, t Virgos tend to be very scheduled individuals. You know, things have to ha happen at, at a certain time. It has to happen this way, that sort of thing. Yeah. So. Oh, hold on one sec. Uh just polar opposites and Sagittarius is not really scheduled. Sagittarius just kind of go with the flow and just kind of take things as it comes. Um, that's, that's, I feel like that's most like fire energy because I'm, I'm, I'm an Aries. So I, I just kind of go with the flow. Um, tell me about the five of pentacles and the three of wands, you see? I feel like, you know, Virgo's envisioning a future, but you know, Sagittarius is envisioning like the next two minutes. <laughs> so, you know, like Virgo's thinking like really far ahead and like, I feel like Virgo doesn't see any, see any sort of hope that this can last. It definitely can. It's just that you guys are approaching life, uh, you know, your approach to life uh, uh, and how you deal with things is so different, so different. Um, Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Here's the thing. I feel like the relationship might have been rushed here. You know, Virgo might be the type of person that likes to t take things slow. And then Sagittarius is like a very fast energy. Okay. So it's just complete polar opposites here. And like I said, you know, Virgo is really con career driven. And I feel like, you know, Sagittarius just likes to have fun, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Um, so tell me about the uh, hangman. We have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about this uh, magician here. We have the Empress. So Libra, Taurus energy. You know, I feel like Virgo sees a lot of growth and expansion or sees a lot of potential in Sagittarius here. But Sagittarius might not be seeing that or might not be ready for that. Yeah. Tell me about this uh, Three of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. A judgment, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I keep feeling like, or, you know, keep seeing that, you know, Virgo views Sagittarius as, uh, as someone that lacks a vision of, about the future, which is not true. Yeah, which is not true. I do feel like Sagittarius does have that uh, for sure. Um, but it's just more so, you know, Sagittarius tends to like to live in the moment enjoy things in the moment, that sort of thing, yeah? And, you know, Virgo's more like, you know, kind of thinking way far ahead. Um, Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. I just feel like someone here is in their head a lot. You know, I feel like, you know, Virgo... So I don't know if... I, I, I just feel like there's a communication issue here. Yeah, either both of you guys are not communicating well, one is communicating more than the other, that sort of thing. And I feel like that's a huge issue because I feel like someone here is always thinking about what someone is saying or what someone is insinuating or something like that. So, 
quite interesting. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Outcome and advice here for Virgos dealing with Sagittarius, Sagittarians dealing with a Virgo. Advice and outcome for uh, Sagittarius for these two pairs here, Sagittarius and Virgo. Well, we have the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like it can it can definitely turn into something more than friends. Yeah. You know, maybe like Sagittarius wants to be friends and kind of work towards, you know, a commitment and, you know, and maybe Virgo, you know, wants to seal the deal right away. You know, someone, you know, or, or you could flip it around. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The problem is Sagittarius gets bored so easily. Yeah, it's hard to keep Sagittarius' attention. That's the thing. Um, you know, because if, like, Virgo's doing the same thing over and over again, you know, this monotonous uh, thing, you know, Sagittarius is going to be like, oh my god, like, this is driving me nuts. Um, you know, Four of Cups is the energy of getting bored easily. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy, and the Five of Swords. Well, if you guys are playing mind games with each other, that has to end. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like you guys might be playing games here. It's really important to really talk to each other, really listen to each other, and really understand each other here. It just seems like when it comes to your guys' core values, it just... It's not in alignment, but I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles, there could be a lot of growth and expansion here. There could be a potential here. Uh, but, you know, I, I just feel like you guys, I, yeah, I keep getting lost in translation here. Yeah, you guys are not understanding each other. Like, it's, these are complete polar opposites. Yeah, like I said, the only commonality that you guys have is that both of you guys are mutable energies. Uh, the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords here. Yeah, I feel like someone here wants to, you know, move towards higher levels of commitment. Someone here has, like, marriage on their mind. But Sagittarius, you know, um, is looking for excitement. You're not looking to be pinned down yet. Not ready for that. The Four of Cups, the Page of Wands. You know, Sagittarius just wants to have fun. Mm. Queen of Wands, got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, Sagittarius lives life, likes to live life in the moment, not to worry too much or overthink or anything like that. It's kind of like what you see, what you get sort of thing, you know, kind of really, really direct and straightforward. You know, Sagittarius might be telling Virgo this, but Virgo is sort of like kind of scratching their head and Virgo might be explaining to Sagittarius that, you know, I want these certain things moving towards the future and Sagittarius is kind of like, you know, so the death card, why is the death card here? We have the uh, uh, justice card, Libra energy, the five of swords and the 10 of swords. Well, it could go either way. It could go horribly wrong if you guys continue doing this, you know, playing mind games and stuff like that. And, you know, or it could turn into something really, really, really well. Yeah, it just, this is, you guys are on two complete different levels here. We have judgment on the bottom of the deck on this one here too. So, you know, I feel like in regards, you know, for someone, one of you guys or both of you guys could be really suffering in this connection. And I feel like with judgment, you guys have to make a judgment call whether you guys want to continue this or not. You know, keep in mind, a lot of times suffering is self-inflicted. Uh, at some point, no one's doing this. You know, when you continue to keep yourself in these situations and, you know, this is you creating your own suffering here, you know? So, um, Sagittarius Virgo. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.